Now if you have a coral reef aquarium and you're super unlucky, you can end up with a mantis shrimp. There are various different sorts of shrimps, crabs and so forth that can lurk in your aquarium. Worms and other organisms which as small don't really pose any problem. As they get bigger and as they get hungrier, they can actually eat your fish. So there are stories of mantis shrimp killing your fish, chopping them up in pieces, hiding them in the rock, polychaete worms that come out and eat your fish, and crabs that eat your fish. And all of this stuff is actually possible. Though, most of the time, these organisms get blamed when it is just poor water quality, poor nutrition, or potentially dead spots, where that's areas in the back of the reef that potentially house hydrogen sulfide, and that can discharge and potentially kill your fish as well. So if you're having fish going missing in your aquarium, the first place to check is down the back of the tank, because sometimes they jump out. But sometimes if you take your reef apart if you did that very swiftly you might find a half eaten fish which potentially was half eaten by the other fish in the tank but it is also potentially possible that they were half eaten by some sort of pest that's in the aquarium so once again this is absolutely possible but under most circumstances, um, the animal doing the eating when you see the dead animal gets the blame. So if you see a crab, a shrimp, or a fish eating a dead fish, it's very easy to draw the conclusion that that fish or that shrimp or that crab killed your fish. And once again, this is possible, but most of the time, it's something more usual that's killed the fish. So anyway, if you have experience with um, pests potentially killing your, your fish, um, did you find out in the long run that it wasn't the pest or are you quite sure it was the pest? It is definitely something to be aware of, something to be mindful of, but also not something to necessarily blindly blame because the culprit is often much more mysterious than simply looking at the obvious water quality dissolved oxygen levels redox potential elevated salt levels inadequate nutrition bullying from other fish these are the much more likely causes without discounting for one second that a nice big crab that's grown up in your tank or a big mantis shrimp that's got too big um, are potential culprits. Anyway, something to be aware of and put a little note on the bottom of this video if you um, have any experience with this subject.